it, the way the way things started, and I don't think anybody, I don't know, you guys may have heard other versions of this, but I'm going to tell you the 100% truth because I am very, very good friends with the both of them, right? Kevin and Myron are two of my very best friends. Kevin was one of my very best friends. And so <clears throat> Kevin had just, Kevin had blown up. He'd gone viral on World Star Hip Hop a couple times. And then, of course, he was two, 300,000 subscribers. He was on his way up. Then uh, Fresh and Fit also hit the also hit the algorithm, and they started to grow. Well, Fresh and Fit had been doing Fresh and Fit After Hours at the same time Kevin was doing his show. Neither Kevin never had a problem with it until Kevin felt that uh, Myron and Fresh's live streams were infringing on his audience. He said to me, Donovan, that is my time slot. He said this to me. He said, that is my time slot. I said, Kevin, I said, you're one of my best friends. You don't own any time slots. Okay. People can live stream whenever they want to live stream. Number one, number two, number two, Myron and fresh have been doing fresh and fit after hours, probably longer than you've done your late night show. So it, it, it just, it, it became, now listen, I don't know what Kevin's motivations were. I'm not going to pretend to know because he didn't tell me. But my guess is that he, I mean, listen, it, it appeared to me like there were some economic reasons. He, he wanted, so, so Kevin asked me, he said, look, man, you got to talk to Myron for me. I said, okay, I'll talk to him for you. So I called up Myron and said, Myron, look, check this out. Kevin is feeling some type of way. He's feeling some type of way about the about the time slot. And of course, Byron tells me what I told him. Hey man, he doesn't own the time slot. He says, but maybe we can come to an agreement, right? So while they're hashing that out, Kevin calls me the next day and Devin was in the car with me. Kevin calls me the next day and he's telling me, he's like, Myron and Fresh still have that Amanda video on their live stream. They still have the Amanda video. I said, okay, Kevin, what's the issue? What's the problem? He says, they need to be giving me a cut of that revenue. I said, Kevin, you're on their platform. Like, that's their platform. Like, yes, people people watch the, people, the zillions of views and all this other kind of stuff, but that's on their platform. If they don't have a platform, you don't confront Amanda. You have to. He's like, no, mm -mm. they need to take the video down or they need to send. Guys, this is my hand to the man. My hand to the man. He said they need to take the video down or they need to give me. They need to pay me mm, half of the half of the revenue from that video. So I said, OK, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Devin was driving. We're, we're, we were on our way to the bank. And you guys might remember this. You guys remember Devin's trainer, D. Her dog, Nugget, had gotten hit by a car. Okay? Her dog, Nugget, got hit by a car. We found out about it when we were actually in the bank. Right? So on our way there, I said, Kevin, I'm going to get Myron on the phone. I'm going to get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Myron on the phone. So I get I get Myron on the phone and they're 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 hashing this out, right? Myron's like, yo, Kevin, this is my plat this is my platform, blah, 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 blah. You know, they both they 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 both made their they both made their choice. They both made their choice. But in the end, in the end, Myron said, Okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. He said, I'm going to give you, I said, I'm gonna pay you half of all of the revenue from here on out from that Amanda video. Kevin on the phone agreed to that. He said, all right, cool. That's good, right? So I guess Myron sent him, I don't know, it was like a, I think it was like a five or $6,000, whatever it was. So Myron sends the money to Kevin. <clears throat> I'm thinking everything is all good except for the time slot. I get a call from Kevin the next day. He says, Donovan, the video is still up. I said, Kevin, didn't Myron send you the money? He says, yeah. I said, but wasn't that the point? He's like, no, I wanted half of the revenue and for them to take down the video. I said, Kevin, like, due respect. This is unreasonable. This was their video. 
on their channel. You made the unilateral decision to 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 call into the show. Yes, you added to the show. Yes, you brought viewers, but the platform was already theirs. It was already theirs. I said I was under the impression that if they paid you the revenue, that you'd be okay with the video being up. Then Kevin launches into this diatribe about how Fresh and Fit wouldn't be anywhere. With, uh, he said they've, they've gotten all of these subscribers ever since I made that that appearance with, with, with Amanda, and they're eating off me and this and that and the other. I said, Kevin, I don't, I, I don't know what to do here, man. I said, I thought that I helped you guys broker a deal. I thought that if it was cool with them to keep the video up, I thought that I, I thought that if they paid you the revenue, it'd be cool for them to keep the video up. Like, that's what I thought. He says, never mind. He, he, he hangs up on me. I'm like, okay, he's heated. And I've hung up on Kevin before, too. This was, I hung up on Kevin when we were squabbling about the O'Shea, me and O'Shea shit from back in the day. But it is what it is. We, you know, we got past that. He goes, all right, fine, whatever. We're heated. He's heated. It is what it is. And so Kevin says, um, and, and so, um, and so he calls me back a few hours later and I'm thinking, okay, all right. So he's cooled off and everything is cool. And I'm like, yo, what's going on? He's like, yo, the video is still up. I said, Kevin, I don't know what more I can do. I don't know what more I can do, man. Like he paid you the five to $6,000. You still want the video taken down. And I'm like, Kevin, look, I love you. You're my guy. We've known each other for five, six years. But you're being unreasonable here, man. Like you're being unreasonable. He's like, no, if not for me, they wouldn't have X amount, uh, X, Y, Z amount of subscribers. I just had to let them talk because I, I just, I just could not, I couldn't for whatever reason. And this was, this was a shock to me because Kevin was uncharacteristically emotional about this. And you guys know Kevin, he's as stoic as they come for the most part. It, you know, even when he's, even when these bitches are going in on him and this and that, Kevin is as stoic as they come. But for whatever reason, for whatever reason, he just could not reconcile things with, he just could not do it. Could not do it. And so, um, so at that point, he says, that's it. I'm done with Fresh and Fit, da 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 They didn't want to change their time slot. And by the way, rewind a couple of days. Myron and Fresh said, hey, listen, man, like, if you want, if you guys remembered, Fresh and Fit After Hours moved their show back to midnight. They moved their show back to midnight to accommodate Kevin. They said, all right, we'll move it back to midnight. They did it for a week and a half. Guess what? That still wasn't good enough for them. Because Kevin is calling me, talking about Donovan, they're still on while I'm on. I say, Kevin, dude, I said, they're waiting until midnight. They got guests that are booked. Nobody, dude, like after hours start to 10 o'clock, sometimes 1030, but hey, okay, they pushed it back. Dude, Myron and Fresh bent. Listen, Myron and Fresh are no saints, right? We all know that we've all made mistakes in this content creation game. We get that. But for whatever reason, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on the reasons Kevin just never really, Kevin never really liked Myron, but for whatever reason, that was that, that was that, right? And so, and then of course, Myron is like, yo, I've tried everything I can. I've tried everything I could to accommodate this guy and it's still not good enough. It's still not good enough. I said, Myron, I don't know what to tell you, man. I said, dude, I said, look, and I told him both this. I said, Myron, Kevin, Kevin, Myron is a good guy. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. You guys are just going to have to do what you have to do. You, I mean, I've tried to I've tried to work this out, being the guy in the middle. Guys, I can't this was it was incredibly difficult for me to be in that position. Cuz I love them both, man. Like I've known them forever. Both of I've known Kevin longer than Myron, but I've known dude, I've known Myron since 2018. We used to call into my show. It's just, it, it was, it was just, it was just incredible. And so that was that with Kevin and Myron or so I thought. Then the Abba and preach thing happened. Then the Abba and preach thing happened. All of the lies and the bullshit that came out about Myron and fresh. Kevin took that to be the gospel. He called me up. He's like, he called me up. He's like, Donovan, I'll never forget this. I'm in fucking Connecticut, filming Save-A-Ho. 
Kevin calls me up. He's like, yo, you got to separate yourself from these dudes right now. And I'm like, why? You didn't find out? Myron got a girl pregnant and he raped some, 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 um, uh, some white influencer. He crossed the line. He's got to, they, they've got to go. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I said, Kevin, you know what we teach here in this community? We don't believe all women. He's like, Donovan, the proof is there. And I'm like, Kevin, bruh, these women could literally be saying anything. They could be saying anything. And then he said to me, and the people on Myron and Fresh's side, they're using your video to defend them. Remember the video that I did on Nina Unrated? Remember that whole shebang where she was talking about how creepy everything was? I picked that apart piece by piece. It was all cap. Kevin was upset with me for putting out a video defending my friends. He was upset with me for that. He said, they're using their video. They're using your video to defend them. He said, you got to take that video down right now. I was like, you know what? I don't want to fucking deal with this anymore. And this was the wrong thing. I made the wrong decision. I took the video down. I took the video down. I did. I took the video down. That wasn't enough for Kevin. That was not enough for Kevin. Kevin wanted me to do a scripted out. He wanted me, and I'm not doing this to, to, to besmirch his name. We all have demons, right? Myron, dude, Amru Fuddle, a.k.a. Myron Gaines, he ain't all peaches and cream. Neither is fresh, neither am I, neither is Kevin. This is just the real, this, this is just how it went. So Kevin called me and told me, he's like, yo, you need to sit down. You need to write a script, get in front of a camera, and publicly separate yourself from Myron Gaines. You need to say X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, Kevin, why do I need to do this? He's, he's like, Abba and Preach have exposed Myron and Fresh. And I said, Kevin... I said, I've been preacher a couple of fucking softy. Kevin's all in my ear talking about, talking about preach used to be in a, an MMA fighter. And Abba is respected in this community and this and that and the third. And I'm like, what is, I could not believe what I was hearing. I, I dude, I, dude, I could not believe what I was hearing. So he, he wanted me to write this whole thing out. He wanted me to write this whole thing out. He wanted me to write this whole thing out and publicly separate myself from Fresh and Fit. That's where I drew the line. That's where I finally just had to tell him no. I said, Kevin, I said, you're one of my best friends, man. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. He says to me, well, then you will go down with them. <laughs> and I'm like, Kevin, I have nothing to do with this. He says, yes, you do. You're the one, you're, you're the one, you're responsible for them being on YouTube. And I'm like, look, Kevin, I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of this. I hope we can still be friends. I, I, I hope it's all good. And that's the way, that's the way that phone call went, right? So then everything simmered down. Things settled into things. Things settled. Myron and Fresh were doing their thing. Kevin was doing his Everybody piled on. <laughs> I mean, you guys got to understand, dude, last year was a crazy fucking year. Anthony Johnson came out with the hit piece in March. Um, I'm trying to put together the CME. It, oh, my my very first CME. I'm in Arizona about to stroke out. I can't pee. Abba and Preacher piling on Myron and Fresh. Kevin is trying to, Kevin is trying to convince me to separate, publicly separate myself from Myron, uh, from, from Fresh and Fit. All of this is happening all at the same time, right? I regret not having come to, I regret not having come to Myron and Fresh's defense from the very start. I should have done it. I should have, and I'll never, oh my God. I remember that, dude, I remember it like it was fucking yesterday. I'm in my gym. I'm in my gym. And I watched the very first Abba and Preach video where they said, uh, uh, where they said uh, uh, Fresh is capping about blah, 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 wanting a woman's soul. You guys remember that first video? I watched that video. I was so pissed off. I was going to go upstairs. I was going to come right up here and do a response video right now. I called Kevin before I did it. I was like, yo, did you see what they said about, about, uh, about Fresh and Fit and this and that? I thought that Myron, I thought that they were cool. I knew that they weren't cordial. 
But Abba and Preach attacked Fresh and Fit like this was an obvious trap. I'm like, yo, Kevin, I'm about to go up there and fucking, I'm about to cook these dudes and blah, 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 blah. He said, Donovan, don't do it. I said, why not? He says, don't do it. Don't do it. He said, if everybody piles on them, they're going to pile on you. I said, Kevin, I don't give a fuck. I said, Myron's my boy, man. I'm, dude, I'm riding for him. Dude, I'm riding for his ass till the motherfucking end. Kevin says, Donovan, don't do it. You don't know what proof is out there. I was like, okay, so, so what? You're, you're all of a sudden now you're believing anything everybody says? And I told Kevin, I said, keep in mind that Myron was actually on my platform on the 6th defending Ob and Preach. Ob and Preach talked about the red pill and they all of a sudden they lost their YouTube partner program and then they got it right back. In between that time, that was one of our best, that was actually one of our best panels. The original six? It was the original, it was either the original six or seven. I don't know if Steve the Dean was still on that. I didn't know if Steve the Dean was still on that, um, if he was still on the panel. Right? But we had talked about it. And Myron said, hey man, you know what? This is why we gotta protect Abba and preach. This is why we gotta, you know, stand up for our guys, blah, 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 blah. Had Abin preach in the studio, and then for Abin preach to go back and do that to Myron, that didn't set right with me. I wanted to come up here. I wanted to fucking fry those. I didn't care. This was this was my mistake. This was my mistake. I should not. I should not have let Kevin talk me out of it. I was heated and I was upset. And Kevin says, Donovan, you're emotional right now, and that's okay. Okay, he says you're upset. You're pissed off. He said, take a couple of days and think about what you're about to do. He said, just take, take, just take a couple of days. If you decide you want to do it, that's fine. But he said, don't do it right now while you're angry. I said, okay, you know what? All right, fine, fine. That, okay, he's got a point. I was pissed. I was heated. Cool. 48 hours was not enough to quell the flame. I called up Kevin. I was like, yo, I'm getting ready to fry these fuckers. Kevin spent an hour and a half on the phone with me convincing me not to do this response video to that original Abin preach. By this time, guys, the floodgates had opened. Myron had already fucked up and did the thing about his, about, about uh, preach's wife. All hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. Myron and Fresh were eviscerated by the, by everyone. They lost 40,000 subscribers. Everyone was piling on them. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. And there was an, dude, ep, dude, every fucking day. I don't know why. And for whatever reason, man, and I'm not trying to speak ill of the dead. I'm not trying to speak ill of Kevin here, but I really did believe, I really did believe he had my best interest at heart. I thought the reason why he was trying to prevent me from jumping in was to not get caught up in the fire. I thought Kevin was doing, I thought, and, 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 and Kevin had me convinced that if I took, if, if I took uh, Fresh and Fit side, that my channel would be deleted because I was already under attack from Anthony Johnson, right? But the longer things went, the worse it got. Every week, dude, I'm talking to Kevin. I'm like, Kevin, this is fucked up. This is absolutely fucking fucked up. He's like, Donovan, don't do it. He's like, don't do it. You're angry. You're upset. You've built your brand and this and that. And the third, Myron's got this Miss Cheeks pregnant. He raped a white girl. You don't know what Walter Weeks, a.k.a. Fresh. You don't know what his past is like. These guys are bad news. They're bad eggs. They're bad apples. And I'm like, I just couldn't. I just, I just, I just couldn't. And I, I, I honestly thought he had my best interest at heart. I really did. Okay. All right, Kevin. You're doing this because, you know, you want to, you want to stick up. Okay, all right, cool, cool. You don't want me to lose my channel? All right, okay, all right. So the Abin Preach thing started to settle down a little bit. But then O'Shea started talking shit about Myron and Fresh. O'Shea, the lead attorney, started piling on Myron and Fresh. And so what I did is I didn't make a response video to, to all of their detractors. It was too late by then, which fucking blew. Nope. I decided to replay the video of my response to O'Shea's 
accusations <laughs> that I tried to start a Black 21 convention behind his back. As soon as that video played, guys, as soon as that video played, Kevin called me immediately. He said, Donovan, what the fuck? I was like, what are you talking about? Why are you reopening old wounds and da 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 We had a shouting match. We had a shouting match. And in the end, Kevin says, Donovan, I can't swim with you anymore. He said this to me. He said, I can't, I can't swim with you anymore. He said, we're still friends. These were... And it sucks that I have to admit this. But Kevin's last words to me were, we're still friends, but for me, no mas. And he hung up the phone. That's the last time I ever talked to Kevin Samuels. And I know I told guys, I know I told guys, and listen, I lied to you guys. I did. Um, the reason I lied to you guys is because I didn't want anybody to think, I didn't want anybody to speak poorly about Kevin. Yeah, there were grumblings of this and that, but, you know, I told you guys that Kevin kept me in the loop and that he was, Kevin didn't do any of that stuff, man. Kevin didn't do any of that stuff. As soon as Kevin hit 150,000 subscribers, he never he never really had anything to do with me again. Not on the air anyway. Right? The last time I had him on the air, I think he had 150-something thousand subscribers. He never came on the show again. He never had me on the show again. He never shouted he never shouted me out on his show. He shouted out he shouted out Obsidian. Who does nothing but who 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 spent 3 years bad mouthing me. He shouted out O'Shea on his show. Who does nothing? Who, who who did a bunch of shit talking about me? But he wouldn't shout me out. It's not like and, and listen, man. Kevin didn't know me anything. He didn't know me anything. But goddamn, man. Like Kevin, like I'm the guy who had Kevin Samuels on the most. Kevin, I am the channel that Kevin Samuels appeared on the most, and it's not close. It's not close. The very first time I had Kevin Samuels on was four years ago. He's been on, listen, he's been on my platform 47 times. Nobody else can say that. Nobody else can say that. But as soon as he, as soon as he started getting DMs from Brittany Renner and Cam Newton and, and Future, that was it. He forgot all about me, man. And that shit hurts, man. That shit, oh my God, dude. That hurts. That really, it really fucking hurts. It fucking hurts, man. I didn't, And like I said, I didn't expect anything in return from Kevin. But I didn't expect him to try to turn me against one of my closest friends because of some personal vendetta. Because what, because then, because think about this. So let's say that I foolishly decide to do the, the whole you know, uh, 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 publicly disputing Myron Gaines. Now, Myron and Fresh won't have anything to do with me. Kevin is off doing videos with Future, making appearances on ATL. Where does that leave me? Nobody. I'm a man without a fucking island. Man, I flew Kevin out here. Anyway, man. Kevin... Kevin's not a bad dude, guys. He he's really not. We all have our we all have our frailties. We all we all have our weaknesses. You know, we all have, you know, we all have, you know, we all have some shit with us. Like I get it. I get it. I get it. But one thing, you can say what you want about Myron Gaines. You can say whatever you want about him, man. But that dude is ride or fucking die. 
That dude is ride or die. I talk to Myron every, dude, I talk to Myron every other day. This dude's about to hit a million fucking subscribers. Myron is friends with celebrities, Adam22, Takashi69, George. I mean, dude, he's, dude, he rubs elbows with the who's who of who's who who. He still calls me, man. We still text back and forth. 800,000 plus subscribers. And he still treats me like a friend. I I didn't hear I heard I didn't hear much of anything from Kevin after he hit 150. So that's that's the real that's the real story. That's the real story. Um that's what happened with th- this is that 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 is that's what happened with the Kevin Samuels uh Myron Gaines um situation. It was a very, it was a, it was a bad deal. It was a bad, it was a bad deal. It really was. And I was just, and it sucks because it hurt when Kevin died, man. But I'm going to tell you what, dude. It just, I mean, it hurt to see him shouting out and, you know, giving people like, dude, he'd go on these huge podcasts, Vlad TV and talk about one of the most influential men is Obsidian. And I'm like, dude. Like Obsidian has Obsidian had you on his channel three times, man. Like, dude, I flew you out. I put you up on a hotel. I put you up in a hotel, man. I gave you a platform when nobody knew who the fuck you were. But this dude Obsidian, who clearly is hating on me, any any chance he get, he's talking shit about me, and you want to shout him out. But then you don't want to say anything about me. And I lied to you guys. I said, Kevin, Kevin, I lied to you guys. Kevin, and I told you guys, Kevin wanted to shout me out, but I told him, please don't do it. It was never like that. It was never like that at all, man. It was never like that at all. Kevin never had an intention. He never had any intention on shouting me out. God forbid Kevin Samuels admit that he's friends with Donovan Sharp. All right. So the one regret that I have, man, the one regret that I, the, the, I've I've got many, many regrets. I do. I've got many, 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 many regrets, but one, one of my great regrets was not, was not going on blind instinct. When I saw that Abin preach video come right up here and fucking cook those, I should have done that straight away. I allowed a man I allowed a man who was older and wiser and smarter than me, I allowed him to manipulate me for his own purposes. Does this mean Kevin Samuels was a bad guy? Of course not. Kevin Samuels, he was was and always will be one of my best friends. But that was fucked up. That was fucked up. He was not thinking about me in that situation. He was only thinking about himself. He made me think that he was looking out for himself. He made me think that he was looking out for me. He wasn't looking out for me. No. He wanted Myron and Fresh gone so that he could own the 10 o'clock hour. This dude almost had me sever one of my longest standing and most trusted relationships so that he could own a slot. And it damn near cost me my friendship with Myron. And rightfully so. Rightfully so. So there you have it. There you have it. That's the um that's the whole story, man. Dude, that dude, that is the whole story. I mean, that's listen, that's the story verbatim. Maybe some of the phone conversations maybe had one or two uh words off. That's how these phone calls went, man. That's how these phone calls went. Kevin decided to pick a fight with Myron and Fresh because he was on his way up and Myron and Fresh represented a speed bump even though they had both both been streaming at the same time. For about the same time. And in the end, as soon as Kevin saw an opportunity, when uh, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, Ab and Preach are above reproach. Everything they say is gospel now that they're speaking out against Myron and Fresh. So, I'm glad I was able to get that off my chest. Um, you know, I didn't want to... 
you know, I didn't want to make this public or, or anything like that, but I just, that's what happened, man. That's, that's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And like I said, man, the way Myron handled the Ob and Preach situation, yeah, Myron screwed the pooch when he did the hoo 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 It was funny as a motherfucker. Yes, it was. But that was all the ammo they needed. That was all the ammo they needed. And now, you know, it's interesting. In retrospect, my guess is that if Myron had to do it again, he would have just ignored him. We all learn, right? We all learn. <laughs> we all learn. So I am an excellent judge of female character. I am an excellent judge of female character. It does not take me long to realize that, nope, I do not need to be involved with this female personally or socially. Very good at that. I made a mistake with Tori, rectified that mistake immediately. Immediately rectified that mistake. Right? Pearl, Ali, Janelle, ding, ding, ding. Rebecca Barrett, ding. Tori, eh. not... I'm not a good judge of male character. This is a, I have a blind spot for this stuff. I trusted O'Shea. I trusted Anthony Johnson. <laughs> I trusted Steve the Dean Williams. And I trusted Kevin Samuels. And they all ended up burning me. The difference is, is one of them, I still consider them to be a friend, even though he's no longer with us. So, so that's it. That's what happens. That's what happened. So I figured I'd get that off my chest for anyone who was maybe in the dark about the whole thing. Oh, Tallulah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yo, Tallulah, she's a made girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tallulah, 100%. Yeah, she's, 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 yeah, dude. Tallulah's fire. She, she, she's what's up. Amy and Hanma. Oh, 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 oh. One more thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I got one more thing to tell you. I got one more thing to tell you. I don't even think I have I have this text message anymore. It wasn't a text message. Check this out. So months after all of this bullshit happened, months after all this happened, everything finally settles down. Myron gives me a call or he sends me a text message. He says, hey, man, can I talk to you about something? Like, yeah, sure. Let me finish my workout. So Myron calls me up. Or I call Myron, I'm like, yeah, what's going on? He's like, look, man. He's like, I know you're still friends with Kevin. And, you know, I know that, you know, we, we have this long history. He says, but, you know, for the good of, you know, I, he said, I think it would be a good time for us to call a truce. I think it would be, he said, I think it would send a positive message to the, to the, to the, to the Red Pill community to see that, hey, you know what? Even though brothers can sometimes have you know, a disagreement, they can always come back together for the greater good. He said, I know it's going to be tough to convince him. He says, but if, if, if he's willing, if he's willing to do it, then, then so am I. Myron called me up and told me this. He called me up and told me this. He says, look, he's like, I'm not asking you to do anything, but if, if you want, he said, reach out to him and see what's going on. He said, don't tell him that I asked you because if he thinks that I, if he thinks I'm asking you, if he thinks I'm asking him, he's not going to be as receptive to the idea. He says, you can't, you just have to make it sound like you're, I was like, I think it's a great idea. I think that's a great idea. You know, dude, Myron and Kevin with a truce. That's a dude. That's a win-win. That's a W. That's a W. So I texted Kevin. I said, Kevin, I said, look, man, I just talked to Myron. Give me a call as soon as you can couple hours later, Kevin calls me up. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, before you start. This is what Kevin said. He said, before you start, the answer is no. I said, Kevin, you don't even know what I'm going to say. He said, Donovan, he said, there's only one reason that you would tell me to call you about Myron. He said, it's, he's probably looking for some sort of truce or whatever. I was like, well, yeah, I think it would be good for the community. He's like, no. He said, not interested. I'm not continuing this conversation. So there you go. So even after all of the bullshit, even after all of the bullshit, Myron still, Myron was able to compartmentalize things. Hey man, look, we're not going to be on each other's Christmas cards, but let's, let's get together for the good of the community. That was it. That was it. 
RG Shadow says, I remember Donovan talking about it, and it was a tough situation. Psh, man, you got that right. Dre Raven says, you were in a no-win situation, Don. Um, pardon me. You had shit coming at you from all sides. You had your channel taken down twice. You were already under attack, dude. Oh, my God. <sighs> Dre Raven also, well, Jay Blaze says Steve is teaching how to be how to suck. Yeah. God, what a fucking scam that guy is. Dre Raven says, I remember listening to how you addressed the situation initially, and we knew you were on Fresh and Fit side. Yeah, I know. I know. Dre Raven says, in a stressful situation like that, Kevin Samuels' advice would sound pretty reasonable. Exactly, man. I, like, dude, I'm going, dude, I'm under attack from Anthony. I've got these health issues. I'm about to stroke the, dude, I'm getting ready to stroke the fuck out. I mean, all of this stuff is going on. So it, it made sense. It made sense for me to, to not do anything. I should have, I, dude, I should have done, I should have done what I, what I knew was right. Dre Raven says, uh, I suspected something along those lines, sadly. Yep. Ox Craig says, in the end, you have to defend your boys. Yeah, man. Dre Raven says, you're a good friend. Don, you protect your friends. We know this. Yeah. Damian Hanma says, wow, stuff changes people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dre Raven also says it hurts when friends try to use us as pawns, even if it's unintentionally. Nah. Kevin knew what he was doing. Kevin, Dude, Kevin's the smartest person I've ever known in my life, man. He knew what he was doing. Damien Hanna says, like all of us, Kevin was a good guy, but he had some shadows. I think success changed him. Yeah. Yep. King Life says he was selfish and the money took him over. Mark Whitmore says, true, I think the bigger goal would be to, would have been to hear all sides for the facts, then make the piece. Exactly, man. Exactly. Jay Blaze says, Donovan, you'll always be in my number one RP mentor. I appreciate that. Dre Raven says, Kevin's monologue about this not being personal, being business, hinted at something like this. Yeah. He took, he would take subtle shots at Fresh and Fit. It was just a bad, it was a bad, bad situation, man. It was just a bad situation, dude. It was just, dude, I'm getting, oh my God, I'm getting it from all fucking sides. Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. 2021 was a rough year, man. It was fucking rough, dude. It really was. All right, guys. Um, so. That is going to bring this.